Hi everyone, this is Dave and it's time for another Mega Gadget Collection. Welcome to this week's Mega Gadget Collection and as always I have got a fantastic selection of gadgets and technology to share with you. Let's kick things off with a look at the Z-Blaze action camera. So this is the Z-Blaze action camera. Comes in a nice outer product box and this gives you some of the specifications. It's waterproof, it actually has a 170 degree angle of view, records in 1080p 30 frames per second. It's got Wi-Fi built in. It's also got a screen built in to the back of the camera as well, which I'll show you in a short while. And this is the little carry case that it all comes supplied with. And we've got some extra accessories in the back and USB cables, etc. We've also got a remote control, which is on a wrist strap. We've got various mounts included inside the box, as well as some 3M adhesive mounts. And then, of course, we've got the camera itself. And this is the little action camera. Very, very nice. It certainly does look the part. Very uh, cool design as well, the fact that it's all in black, I like that a lot. If we look around the side of the camera, we've got some HDMI and USB connections underneath these covers here. Across the top, we have got a power on off button, button for starting and stopping recording and taking photos. This is the class mechanism which opens up the back of the camera, allows you to gain access to the memory card slot, which is a micro SD memory card slot, and also the battery. And then if we look around the front, you can obviously see the lens there as well, as well as the Wi-Fi symbol. Very, very nice lens, S simple mounting system, same as the GoPro system. And if we look around the back, you can see there is this built-in screen, which gives you all of the information you need for framing up your shot and the various settings. A very, very nice proposition, really good alternative to the GoPro. And the video quality that this actually produces is really good indeed. This is the Blaze action camera. Next up, we've got this. This is the Zoom Media Player. You can check them out at zoomtv.com. Now, this is a really neat little box that allows you to stream various formats of video. Very compact, nice design to it as well. We've got an SD card slot on the side. On the back, we've got a couple of USB sockets. We've also got HDMI. We've also got an Ethernet socket. AV input and also optical output and also just here this is the input for the power supply that comes inside the box. Now this supports multiple formats up to 4k resolution so 4k resolution supported. There's two gigabytes of DDR3 DRAM in here and also flash memory of eight gigabytes and it supports things like MPEG, uh, M2V, ISOs, TS, VOB files, MKV, MP4, a whole list of different formats and serves them up in up to 4K resolution. If you're looking for a media player that can handle multiple formats, then this particular one, the Zoom X8, is well worth checking out. Now, if you want some decent audio whilst you're out and about, you could do a lot worse than checking out the Bluefinity from O-Tone Audio. This is a Bluetooth wireless speaker. You can either stand it up in this sort of vertical orientation or indeed horizontal like this. We've got a nice speaker at the front. This has got NFC for easy pairing as well. It's got some really nice controls across the top edge here. We've got power, we've also got Bluetooth, and you'll see a little symbol here, like a phone. That's because it has got a built-in microphone just here, so you can use this for taking calls. We've also got volume controls on here as well. The O-Tone branding just on the corner here. And then if we look around the back, we've got a little loop here, so you could put this on a belt or a wrist strap or a shoulder strap. We've got input here for charging the internal battery via micro USB and an auxiliary input as well. So if you didn't want to connect something via Bluetooth, then you can hardwire a device. Now, this has got eight to 10 hours of music playback on a single charge, and it also comes with a neoprene carry case inside the box. Multiple color options as well. I really like the styling on this because it's got a nice sort of soft sort of feel to it. They've done nice curves and a really unique look to it. When it comes to the quality of the audio playback, I don't think you'll be disappointed. It delivers a nice sound, not a fantastic amount of bass, but very convincing, and a nice clear mid-tone and treble. This is the Bluefinity from O-Tone Audio. 
So the product I'm showing you here is a very creative product. It's from Alpine Labs. This is their Radian system, and it's a smartphone-enabled rotary time-lapse device. Now, it actually comes in three separate parts. Two of them you can see here. The third one is a camera-specific cable uh, and connection system. Now, it supports certain models of camera. You can check out which ones are supported on the Alpine Labs website. We've also got this L bracket, and this allows you to connect the rotary device to a tripod and your camera. And it sort of just allows you to do different angles. So you can maybe do a horizontal or a vertical time lapse or even get a specific camera angle using a tripod as well. Now, let me show you this. This is very, very cool. This is the actual rotary time lapse device. And you can see I've got my G7X mounted on it at the moment. Now, it also, uh, communicates with an application so you can do all of your settings on the application and basically underneath the camera there's just a little threaded mount to go into your standard tripod mount on the bottom of your camera and then just here we've got the various connections to go to the uh, uh, from the cable to your camera and also the USB connection here for charging the internal battery and then we've got an on off switch and the app enables you to basically control how often this actually moves. Now, if I pop this down onto here and turn the camera on, you will see that at the moment it's set to actually rotate every couple of seconds. And this allows the shutter to actually go. So we would have a shutter activation, then it would move, shutter activation again, then it moves again. You can see it moving a slight amount each time. And you can adjust how much it moves and the interval that it moves as well. And it allows you to create really creative time-lapse photos and videos and uh, panoramic landscapes, a really whole range of different creative possibilities with this particular product. The fact that it's smartphone enabled adds another dimension to the product as well because it means that it's really configurable and it's really well made, a very, very high quality rotary device here that's very smooth in its panning motion and it comes in at a really good price. Now, let me just cover off some of the cameras it will actually work with, and this isn't the definitive list. You can obviously check out the whole list on the Alpine Labs website. But if you get an E3 cable, it actually supports the Canon 60D, 70D, all of the Rebels. Also, we've got Pentax K3, K5, K7, K30, K500, the list goes on. The Samsung GX, also with the N3 cable, it supports the Canon 10D, 20D, 30D, 40D, 5D Mark II and III, for example. And you can also get a cable to support Nikon or Nikon cameras as well, such as the D90, D600, all the way up to the very latest uh, Nikon D800 and D800E. So plenty of cameras supported. I only gave you a few examples there of what is actually supported. So please do check out the alpinelaboratories.com website. And now it is tiny little product time. This is one of the tiniest products that I've actually featured in the Mega Gadget collection. This is from a company called StarTech. This is their micro USB charge and sync adapter. Now, if you own a new iPhone, an iPhone 6 or iPhone 6 Plus, or indeed the new iPad Air or iPad Air 2, you'll know that it actually comes with a lightning connector. This is a little reversible connector that Apple developed and it allows you to charge your device with a lightning cable. Well, what happens if you haven't got a lightning cable or you've lost your lightning cable? Most people will have a USB to micro USB cable handy and this little adapter plugs into the bottom of your device like so and then converts that lightning connector to a micro USB connector. Very, very cool indeed. It is very tiny this I would worry about losing it it would have been nice maybe to have a little keychain attachment on it maybe they do that in a future version but this allows you to actually convert your lightning connector to micro USB this is the Devoom Airbeat 10 this is a tiny little Bluetooth speaker really nice designed I love the bright red coloring on this one we've got a gloss red surround on the speaker grill and I like the way that that contrasts against this rubberized red finish on the sides very very nice design indeed 
Now on this side here, we've got some controls. We've got the power on off button. We've got the play button. We've also got a little microphone here. And this is what a lot of manufacturers are doing nowadays. They're including a little microphone. So if a call comes in whilst you're listening to music, you can actually take that call hands free. We've also got volume up and down. And then across this edge here, we've got a little flap which reveals micro USB charging socket, up to six hours of audio playback on a single charge, and also the little three and a half millimeter auxiliary input. Now, if you didn't want to connect something via Bluetooth, then you can use that auxiliary input to hardwire perhaps a smartphone to this particular speaker. Now, the audio quality on this is pretty good. A decent amount of bass for the size of speaker, good treble, also good mid-tones as well and the actual audio quality more than acceptable the volume again for the size of speaker more than acceptable this has also got a little trick up its sleeve if we look around the back you'll see a standard tripod thread you can use the included suction cup or the included bike mount to mount this maybe on some handlebars or you, if you've got something like a gorilla pod you could mount this pretty much anywhere and the idea is good because it means you've got truly portable audio. I also love the little handle on the top just to be able to pick it up by. It's just a really nice design. If you want a tiny little portable audio speaker, the Airbeat 10 is well worth considering. Now, last but not least in this week's Mega Gadget Collection is this gaming headset from Creative. This is the Sound Blaster Inferno. Works with PCs, Macs, game consoles, including support for the Sony PS4. Now, this has got a really nice red cable, three and a half millimeter audio connection on this end here. We've also got this sort of built-in inline remote control. This allows you to turn the microphone off and on and also to control the volume. It's got a nice little clip on it as well, so you can clip this to maybe a shirt collar, keep the cable nice and tidy. Now, if we take a look at the headphones themselves, 40 millimeter drivers in these ones and it's really a very very comfortable headset nice amount of padding to the ear cups these have actually got some rotation on them as well so you can get a nice comfortable fit adjustable headband as well with plenty of adjustment for larger size heads and overall the actual audio quality that these deliver is very good indeed a very clear and precise sound definitely something you need for a good gaming headset I like the styling on these. I like the fact we've got this sort of inferno red color sort of accenting the ear cups. We've also got the microphone here, which is fully adjustable. You can bend this to all different sort of angles and it's also detachable as well. So if you didn't want to use the microphone, you can completely remove it from the headset. I think this is a really nice choice. If you're looking for a decent gaming headset without spending too much money, then the Sound Blaster Inferno is well worth checking out. So that's it for this week's Mega Gadget Collection. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button and please do stick around for another Mega Gadget Collection next week.